<laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? It's uh, 5 o'clock somewhere. Monday evening here in Oldsmar. This is a little hunter. We're going to do a tropical update here on YouTube. Uh, something new. Get a lot of good positive feedback. So if you like our YouTube channel, please subscribe, share it, and let everybody know we're doing these little quickie tropical updates here. Um, and we got something to talk about. We do. We do. If you follow my page, right above me here, we've been talking a lot about this uh, wave in the middle Atlantic. And that's what we're going to talk about uh, right now uh, for the next five minutes, I hope. <laughs> Here's the current 2 p.m. NHC map. And uh, the wave we're talking about is this guy right here. Uh, it looks pretty juicy on satellite. The NHC had it marked a couple days ago, and uh, it lost a lot of convection in the last two days. It really came back. Um, so we're going to be watching this. And there's a good chance it might be making its way to the Western Atlantic, even down in the Caribbean. We'll have to see. Timing is a week plus. Timing's still the same as it's been all along. It's going to be reaching outer parts of the islands around the 15th, 16th. So that kind of gives you an idea. The next four days, at least, this thing will still be approaching the, the Lesser Antilles. Now, this little guy, most models are having it curve up. There are signs that if we do have this wave here, that we're going to see a new wave emerging off of Africa. I'm not going to really go into that one yet either. We're going to talk about kind of what we know, what's happening, something we can see because the models have been terrible this year. But there is support of another system coming, not not the one that's marked now. Here's what I'm talking about. This is uh, pretty darn juicy, man. I'm telling you what, uh, there was a lot of dry air and some dusty south Saharan air layer conditions out there. And man, it just overnight, I'm going to show you two days ago. This is a current look at the water vapor loop. Um, like I said, there's other areas out there. I'm just going to focus on this one right now. This We're only going to talk about this wave because now it's uh, getting my attention more. Uh, but there you go. It's a lot of moisture. Uh, it is battling dry air all around it, but it's it's hanging on. And, and the farther west it goes, the better shot it's got at uh, trying to organize. So that's what it looks like right now. Uh, let me show you this one. Now, two days ago, this is very interesting to me, two days ago. Uh, it was right here. This is dry air. Anything orange and yellow is dry air, dusty air. And just a couple, two days ago, this is the 10th. Look at that. Can't even hardly see it, right? And look what happened in two days here. Um, just moisture came out of nowhere. And then here's where we are today. Boom, right there. This is current. So two days, it went from no convection to convection. So kind of interesting. Keep an eye on it. The, uh, you know, things happen fast in the tropics. Doesn't have a really good sign of circulation right now. However, it, it, it is showing up a little bit. In fact, let me show you that real quick. I didn't have that opened up, but I figured what the heck. Let's, let's look at that. Uh, lower level circulation here. You can kind of see it spinning. Got a little spinach. Uh, 850. Got some spin. Uh, 500. Got a little spin trying to develop. And even uh, 200. 50 kind of playing nice, so it's got 500 millibar middle and uh, lower level spin. Very clear here, so that's kind of interesting. This is a current look, but we'll see. We know how the season's been. Uh, some other stuff I want to show you here. Let's take a look at um, one more look. This is the convection map as the sun goes down. What Brooks and Dunn says, right? As the sun goes down. <laughs> And there it is. So that's what we're watching. Uh, let's look at some individual model runs. This is what got my attention today to go ahead and start talking about it a little bit more. Uh, the latest Euro has been really picking up on it. The uh, Every run has been initialized in a little bit more lower pressures. So the afternoon 12Z, this is your tropicaltidbits.com site, the one we use a lot. We love it. Um, this is what we're watching right here. You can see that the pressures are now kind of maintaining to the islands, the 15th. And it kind of rides up through the Caribbean, Western Atlantic here through the weekend, this weekend. And then look what happens. A little chance of some development. And we know all too well when a system gets down into the um, Western Atlantic, things can happen fast. So, you know, drop pressure 1,006, 1,003. Uh, nothing to get worked up about except it's starting to show really good consistency. I've been showing those ensembles a lot, and the ensembles have been very supportive of this. Now the Euro is definitely uh, starting to pick up on it a little bit more. Uh, going into time 10 days out granted however this exact same time stamp 10 days from now if you look at the canadian model almost the exact same spot let's zoom in a little closer this is what i'm talking about with model consistency and here's that new wave 
I'm not even going to talk about that one yet, but this has been showing up consistently. I've been talking a lot about this on the Brew Crew. Our, we have a little private Brew Crew section for subscribers, and we've been talking about this new wave. But the Middle Atlantic wave, there you go. Got the CMC, and you got the Canadian. And drum roll, you even have the GFS now, um, which hasn't really performed very well. So we got basically three models showing possible low pressure uh in the next week um the icon doesn't go out that far i haven't even looked at it yet i'll take a look at 12z and uh, there's the icon <laughs> showing a little development here monday um icon doesn't do very good with steering but it does great with tropical sniffing <laughs> i don't know what that tropical sniffing but the icon's showing 988 uh next monday so even the icon now is showing possibility of something in that same general time frame so that's about it i don't want to get too hypish uh your latest weathernerds.org ensemble map this is what i've been showing a lot over the last uh week and uh still getting good signature this is the 16th and 17th and you never know you know we start getting into that time frame of uh you know the 21st here this only goes out 10 days but you know, we're starting to see a mixed thinking here that this, some of these models are going here, some are here. So we can look at one more, uh, uh, the weathermodels.com site that I use does go out a little farther. We can see maybe here a little bit more. Let's look at the I don't know, tropical Atlantic, I guess. Well, we can look at probably East coast golf, maybe there we go. And, uh, you know, you can see a few venturing west so all right that's it that's just an update the uh cold front's coming down we talked a lot about that i might do another video on that cold front coming down gonna linger all week lots of rain for florida peninsula a lot of rain dry air for the peninsula north all week long tropics though are very interesting i've been posting this little guy has been sneaky and it's starting to look pretty big juicy uh overcoming a lot of obstacles so far and like i said that mjo is enhanced we have this uh very warm ocean heat content out here this is how hot the water goes the mjo is entering a very enhanced stage coming up and uh these are all factors that could really help uh, get something going with our system here in about a week plus so keep it tuned right here to mike's weather page i'm on it as always thank you and uh hit that subscribe button and we'll do another one of these tomorrow maybe the, uh tomorrow morning if things really change but definitely live for the Daily Brew in the AM tomorrow, Tuesday, 9, 19 Eastern. I'm live right here on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. So we'll see you later. Bye-bye.